just getting ready for a, another canoe trip, and I was going through my Firestar kit and I saw that I'm getting a little low on what I use as a fire starter, and I uh, thought I'd do a quick video to show you what I'm using and uh, how I make them. It's uh, basically a petroleum uh, Vaseline uh, soaked cotton ball. So what you would need is uh, obviously the cotton balls. You can get these anywhere. You can probably even have them in, at home already. You'll need uh, Vaseline, of course. It's just uh, you can use any Vaseline as long as it's just pure Vaseline, nothing, no scented things or anything like that. Uh, this is just a no-name brand one, I think. Well, this is that, yeah, no name, but use whatever you have. And uh, you'll need a piece of paper towel to clean your fingers off at the end because it's a, it's a messy procedure. You'll also need uh, something to store the uh, Vaseline soaked cotton balls uh, after you're finished. Something plastic preferably, something that the Vaseline won't soak through and uh, potentially get flammable. So I, I recommend uh, plastic containers like this, something big enough that you can open and close easy enough and get, get inside and pull out the cotton balls. I've seen people use skinnier containers, but it's a hassle to get them in and out. So if you have something big enough that you can easily pull out the cotton balls, that's the best way. So basically what you do is you just grab a cotton ball and uh, open up your Vaseline. Some people I've seen online actually melt the petroleum, but I don't know if it's any more effective or not for what you're doing than, than just using, uh, just taking it out of the container and putting it on. But this is what I do and it's worked really well. So basically you'll grab a glob like that get it on the ball, and then start working it in. I, I take apart some of the fibers like this and work it in like that, so it gets deep inside the cotton ball, it gets, gets it all soaked. Just work it in, just like that, just like that. Basically pull it apart like that, work it in, have the container ready, stick it in, move on to the next one. Even if you get these uh, a little bit wet in your pack, uh, they'll still they'll still light because of the petroleum. Just keep going. These are a great way to get the fire started, uh, really in any situation, but especially when it's uh, raining and everything's a little damp, because with this you'll get a little extra burn time than you would with just burning a piece of paper or anything like that. It gives you a uh, a little more time to get the fire going and get the little bits of sticks and whatever you have as your tinder started. Like that. And then when you're done that, I just take a piece of paper towel, get all of it off as much as I can anyway. And then I, uh, I always take that piece of paper towel, just fold it up right in there. A little extra tinder to get you going. And that's basically it. So there you have it. It's uh, something easy you can do at home. All you need is uh, cotton balls and some Vaseline. Uh, it's quick and easy to do. It's a bit messy but nothing that uh, you can't clean up after. And uh, out in the field it's, uh, it's a great way to get the fire started quick and easy. So there there you have it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.